Well, we're here. Welcome to Toho, Kramu's westernmost port city. What's with this place? The people are going about their business. Why aren't they worried about Dane? About the war? It's because this area is fairly isolated. Dane's army hasn't come this far, and so life goes on as before. Dane's plan is to seize the capital, then slowly and steadily expand its sphere of influence until it controls everything. Surely these people have some idea what's happening. Ignorance is a form of bliss, is it not? These people don't know what it's like to lose a war. They don't want to know. Crimea as a nation has always been blessed by peace. Perhaps this is due to the temperament of its rulers, but the country hasn't seen serious warfare for centuries. While minor skirmishes with the Kingdom of Dane have been legion, only the eastern borderlands have taken damage. And yet, even I know this peace will not last. When we met Dane forces on our scouting mission, they attacked us merely for being with the, within the Crimean border. Humans are shameless creatures that carelessly ignore in any misfortune which does not befall them directly. Sadly, this is very true. They can, and often do, turn a blind eye to all manner of wickedness so long as it does not touch them or their kin. They will bow their heads, condemning those victims for bringing calamity upon themselves. And then they will cast their eyes toward heaven, in thanks to all their neighbors and they dying around them. But the war is happening here. This is their home, not someone else's. When the Dane army darkens their doorsteps, perhaps they will understand. When the peace they take for granted is shattered, and their sons and daughters slaughtered in the streets, perhaps then will they comprehend the misfortunes they so long pretended not to see. I have no sympathy for them. My goodness, the nastier truth the plenary gets. Quite a delightful staff officer you have there. He, uh... He has an undeniable streak of severity in him, but... But this? Something's bothering him, that's for sure. It's to be expected. Even I'm a bit shocked by this place. Can they truly be as placid as they appear? Soren's a very empathetic young man. The emotions of this place might have proven to be too much for him. Ignoring impending doom because you cannot prevent it. Fatalism is by nature a disheartening beast. Well, for all those born with nothing, there are those born with everything. Perhaps those who never notice the difference are the ones we should envy. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? I was talking to myself. Pay me no mind. Hmm. Now that I gotta see a man about a ship. While I'm gone, why don't you get your supply squared away? I'm sure that the journey ahead will require a lot of packing. Where the fuck go with you? No, no, no that's all right. You should supervise the supply acquisition. You're going to be at sea for months, you know. I know that, but what is it, Titania? She's worried about me. She doesn't want to leave the solitary lagoons wandering around a York City. But I thought Crimea and Galley were allied nations. Why would a long wandering lagoon be cause for a concern? Well, it shouldn't be, but... Do you remember what King Canigus told you? The friendship between Crimea and Galley exists only between the ruling classes. It doesn't take root in the minds of the common citizenry at all. That being said, things have improved quite a bit since King Ramon ascended to the throne. The ports of the hunts and such other horrors have all but disappeared. Oh, don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got connections, see? It's not like I'll be roaming the docks begging for passage. Alright then, the job is yours. Please be careful. You too. Don't mess anything up. Shady business. Ike, here's a summary of our last battle. We got... Uh, 1,107 gold. But we spent 6,595 gold. And we got 1,020 bonus experience. There are no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury, injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report. If you'll excuse me. Alright, now we get to chapter 11 base. Wait, is the... Yeah, it is. Dun, 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 dun. Time to stuff Marsha with more bonus experience. Skill speed. Dun, 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 dun. HP, magic speed. Dun, 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 dun. Strength, magic, skill, luck, resistance. Dun, 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 dun. HP, skill. And it's time for a class change. Whoa! What the? What's happening?
happening? Don't look in the light! Wee, you got a winged pony! Falcon Knight! HP strength, HP plus 4, strength plus 2, magic plus 2, still plus 2, comp plus 1, speed plus 1, defense plus 2, resistance plus 3, move plus 1. Having Marsha as a Falcon Knight this early is absolutely sexy. She gets to use swords, so... I'll just take one of these suckers. I do believe I can buy steel lances, right? Yep. I'll buy like two of them. Ooh, I should have got steel swords. Yeah, that's good. Let's forge something. Let's forge an uh Should I forge some sword? Now nah, forge iron. Ten. Yeah, that's good. I don't need to go. I need to go super fancy. Yep. You probably know what I'm going to name it if you, you know, you saw poke. Where's my mighty C? Um, fans in the way again. Cut you. I'll make it green. Put it in convoy for now. Iron Blades were viable last chapter, by the way. Let's see what we got here. Info. From the merchant. Hey there, traveler! Do you have anything you need? If you stop by my humble shop, you'll find the best deals in town! What do you say, interested? Yeah, that sounds great. Listen, can I ask you a question? No problem, you can ask me anything. Especially with my low, low prices. What do the townspeople think of Dane? You knew that they were coming. Didn't anyone think to flee Crimea? Flee? Don't be absurd! But Crimea lost the war. Water. Yeah, I know, and honestly, that doesn't really affect us common folk, you know? The truth is, we don't care who sits on the throne. To us, they're all just hot faceless beings who rule on from high. If they try to raise taxes or something, you'd better believe we'd protest, but otherwise. I mean, take the King of Dane. He's just another man, right? If we keep working, he can keep living the high life. So it's not like he's going to treat us poorly or anything. As long as we can live our lives and have a little happiness, we aren't going to worry about it all too much. Oh, but if we were made by Gallia, well, that's a different story altogether. If our country were by those savage beasts, who knows what could happen? Now that scares me. <sighs> what the? Hey, wait, come back! What about low, low prices? Now what was that all about? Fuck your low, low prices. Ike doesn't take too kindly if you met, met a bad mouth of the goose. This is from some guy. Pardon me, buddy. I haven't seen you around town before. You a traveling mercenary? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Nice sword. Look like a man knows his business. He's looking for work and proposition for you. Proposition? I'm a run a vigilante group to help keep our fit ter fla, fair town safe. Strong men like you, we most welcome. Thanks, but I've got something lined up. Oh, really? That's too bad. Enough to see? Maybe. <laughs> Cautious to the end. I like that. W well, just in case you are, I want you to have this. Hmm? What's this? It's a special sword. It'll come in handy if you ever find yourself at sea. No, I just would. <laughs> really? You're giving me a sword? Are you sure? Well, there is one condition. Once you've finished your job, you come back and see me. I'd like you to reconsider that vigilante position. Understood. Thanks again for the blade. A Lagoo Slayer! It's a sword that's fighting against Lagoos of all types. Really nice! This is Valencia. Princess. 
Not that I can. Why are you here by your all by yourself? That's not very safe. I was looking at the town. I'm unfamiliar with the world outside the Imperial Villa where I was raised. This is the first time I've ever been able to see how other people live. Everything is so new and different to my eyes. This is a town, isn't it? There's so much energy, and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. With all the boats coming in and out of the harbor, this town's livelier than most. That's for sure. It's like nothing has happened. All the death and destruction we've seen feels like a horrible dream. Hmm. And that is all we need to know. I'll save you over here. Let's get out of here.